Capricorn friends, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I hope you guys are all doing well. So this is going to cover the next two weeks for you guys, June 24th to July 7th, 2019, for Capricorn Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. And as a reminder, Capricorn, if the reading doesn't re resonate for you, please just definitely feel free to watch your other signs. So we're going to do it the same as last time. I'm going to do your Oracle card first, which are this these, this amazing deck, Oracle of Mystical Moments. Amazing deck. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sun, Spirit. What guidance does Capricorn need to know? June 24th to July 7th. Beautiful. Radiant Rider, wait for you guys. Capricorn, those of you that would like to get a private reading, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Instant Go. Links to everything that you guys need are right below the video in the description box. Facebook Live every Wednesday. Love to have you guys follow me there. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, interesting. So, you know, this is kind of like how you're coming into the reading. The Seven of Swords. All right, so uh, something around you could be, you know, this is the Liar, Cheater, Thief card, right? Sneaky, shady energy. Someone who's trying to get away with something. Someone who's lying. It could also be someone that is taking a risk on something. And most likely keeping it to themselves. So some, it's someone that's like kind of trying to pave their own way. You know, some of you could be taking some kind of action, doing something, working alone. Your overall energy is absolutely amazing with the King of Pentacles. So whether you're male or female, it doesn't matter because it's in the over, it's in the general position. You know, you're coming through very much in, in your own element. Now, those of you that are taking a risk, it could be a financial risk, something to do with your career, finances. You know, those of you that are taking a, a financial risk, you want this energy. You know, the King of Pentacles is very successful, financially well off. This person makes excellent, great financial moves. And then for others of you, you could be dealing with an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. There's definitely something going on with relationships. You know, I'm definitely getting that for a lot of you. So you have the Two of Cups and the High Priestess here. Two twos, which do represent partnerships, decisions. Decisions that are important. Some of you might have to make a decision in love. If not love, it could be in regards to a business partnership. Some kind of business part partnership is important for some of you. 
You know, with the High Priestess, some of you do need to listen to your intuition when it comes to this. You know, and definitely, you know, with the Ace of Swords and the High Priestess, de you know, definitely something... How do I want to say this? There, there, there could be some kind of enlightenment, truth, clarity, secrets that, that is coming out during the first week. Some of you are definitely seeing something for what it really is. And some of you intuitively know something. And it's in regards to a relationship with another person. So those of you... You know, but it's like a it's like a business relationship. You could be making a big decision, you know, to take this risk or to get into this partnership. You know, also with the ace of swords, you, you could be literally severing ties and leaving a partnership. You know, the world definitely can represent something completing. Some of you could be going into business, literally, for yourself, giving birth to something new, starting your own business. You know, you could definitely, Capricorn, be leaving a partnership and moving forward by, you know, forward by yourself, independently. The Seven of Swords could be an independent energy. So, you know, someone that does things on their own. Travel, definitely, for some of you, with the world. And you also have the Eight of Wands. Definitely, long-distance travel could definitely be here for some of you. Very long-distance travel. You know, and you also have the Empress and the Magician. So you have a lot of amazing creative energy here, uh, Capricorn. Amazing energy. A lot of creative energy. This, the magician. This is you know having absolutely everything that you need to manifest, to make things happen, to be successful. You're coming up as the King of Pentacles, whether you're male or female. And like I said before, he makes excellent decisions. You know, the Ace of Swords, some of you definitely could be, you know, freeing yourself. You know, freeing yourself, severing ties, and starting something new. You know, something is, is definitely completing here. The High Priestess and the Ace of Swords can represent you seeing something clearly or you hearing the truth, seeing the truth of a situation. Something is coming in that is going to help you. Ace of Swords is also a card of victory. Victory after dealing with some challenges. You know, but this is definitely something big coming to light. Definitely. news information and some of you are definitely feeling anxious I feel nervous dealing with confusion probably fearing that something wasn't going to work out over the next two weeks in particular you know and you all, you do have two eights here with the eight of wands the eight of swords which eights are a karmic number You know, Capricorn, your thoughts are important. You know, with the Ace of Swords, you know, just be sure that you're thinking positively because you're, 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 you know, and you've heard this before. If not from me, I'm sure another reader, you know, your thoughts are energy. What you put out, what you think is what manifests, Right? what you think you manifest. So you really do need to stay positive, stay out of, try to stay out of your head. 
and also with the seven of swords i just feel like you know make sure you're seeing you know setting those intentions and that those intentions are positive you know definitely do things on the up and up definitely for some of you with the high priestess and the seven of swords you're keeping things to yourself i think some of you are working on something here probably doing it secretly which is absolutely nothing wrong with that as you know just make sure that you know you have good intentions those of you that it's love you definitely could be getting into a new relationship with the two of cups the empress some of you could be moving in with your partner some of you could be taking your relationship to the next level you know and this is definitely things moving forward quickly suddenly you know, things moving forward positively. This is you successfully making it. You know, things definitely, you know, with the world, you know, the world card is a very blessed energy, but it's also a, a, a process. Things could have been progressing very slowly, but things are definitely starting to happen much quicker much quicker now very positive messages emails text messages coming coming in those of you that are already coupled with the empress here for my women if you've been trying to conceive I, you know the second week i would say it would be a great time but shit you know have fun for the whole two weeks i mean it's a great great time for that to for you to manifest that some of you definitely could be finding out that you're pregnant over the next two weeks really just a great great reading for you capricorn look at that listen listen you're you're safe you're safe there's no need to worry please please if you're worrying Please stop that. There's no need to. You have amazing energy and you really do just need to listen and trust your intuition. Your intuition is going to be spot on concerning this situation, Capricorn, definitely. But amazing manifestation energy here. Capricorn, those of you that follow me for Facebook Live, I will see you guys Wednesday. Those of you that do not, um, I will see you guys back here very shortly with your monthlies. Absolutely love you guys. See you back here soon. Take care.